I'm James Herron, I'm from Green Hippo, uh, and we're here at ProLight and Sound 2016, uh, and I'm here with our uh, Avery Video Tools range. Um, here at the show, we're talking about our new version 2 software. Uh, we're launching a new product, uh, additional to the range, called Bluebird. Um, as is always the case, we have the, uh, the flagship uh, product here, which is the, the Parakeet. As always with the Avery Video Tools range, the, the systems may appear to be players, but they're actually complete media to screen solutions. By that, what we mean is that with these systems, um, in all of the systems uh, that are in the Avery range, you can encode your media into the system. You can then treat your media in real time with color, positioning, uh, geometry, uh, various different uh, elements of that. You also have the very well-renowned output management system, which I will show you in a second. Um, and that allows you to position screens in a very random way, in a very creative way, within a space that we like to think of as a canvas. And it allows people to do much more creative uh, um, installations, but at a fraction of the cost of having to use a video wall controller, uh, a, a vision mixer, all those things that you would need to have in a chain to do an installation of that type. I'm just going to show you the key functions here of the system. Uh, this particular model, the Parakeet and the Toucan, uh, both of those systems have the uh, touch panel that you can see here. Very simple to use interface. In the player section, very simple controls to use, very intuitive. So, for example, if I want to change my in and out points, I can just simply drag them. If I want to be more precise, I can actually tap them and I can type those uh, uh, parameters in very, very accurately. So it's very, very flexible. You've got within the system, you, uh, in the player, you've also got complete con geometry controls on the X and the Y. Uh, you can position content wherever you like. You can zoom it. You can position it wherever it, uh, it, you wish it to be. You also have an overlay function, which allows you to take an external feed or play additional media or stills in a pip anywhere within that window. And that includes feeds such as SDI, HDMI, DVI, all the usual standard uh, formats that you would encounter. One of the key features that we have within the system that we uh, mentioned earlier is the output management system. Here we've got four screens, and as you can see, uh, once we go into the output management, you can see that they're individually numbered and you have this grid. This is not a still image, this is generated by the system and you get two of the yellow lines which go to the extremes of your canvas and you get lots and lots of things such as pixel counts at junctions there which will allow you to position that media very, very accurately should you move these screens around. And it's very simple to use. For example, if I want to move screens, I just simply grab a hold of them and I can position them wherever I want. I can do it more accurately by typing in actual values if I know my pixel um, structure in detail. Uh, I can also rotate screens very easily if I want to rotate them at arbitrary angles. Also very, very simple. Just open up that, type in a figure, say 57, and as you can see, we now get that. So if that screen was positioned in such a way, when we go to out, when we cancel out of that and play, you'll see that whilst this isn't correct for this particular setup, it's very easy to do creative screen and installations, uh, creative screen installations. With regards to media, media is very simple. Um, one of the key things with this system is that as we're entering an era where non-standard aspect ratios and different screen layouts are much more the norm. What we tend to find is that people are trying to do things that are not necessarily a 16 by 9 ratio. Here we have a 4K display which is four screens, uh, HD screens, creating a near enough 4K display. What we need to do though is we need to create media that is this particular aspect ratio, particularly high, not very wide. If you create the media in your content creation software and you output it in this resolution, it will respect that when you import it into the system and it will keep those parameters all the way through the process, meaning that there's no uh, dragging media and spreading it across and losing lots of pixels. This is a pixel to pixel uh, 4K um, portrait resolution display. One of the key features in version 2, which we think will be very useful for installation work, um, is the ability to use watch folders. What this means is that you can allocate a folder 
on the network or on uh, out there on somebody else's network as long as you can see that folder you can add content to that your content creators can also add content to it and it does support Dropbox as well so if you were working on a project where you have a team of content creators working all day giving you new media you can either add to that folder or you can actually replace existing files within that folder and this system and any other systems on the network will go and find that media import it encode it and you're ready to go we also, in version 2, have the ability to support SMPTE timecode. This allows us to lock multiple servers and machines together from the Avery range using either the internal uh, SMPTE timecode generator over a network or with an external feed coming in on a timecode card if you're in a studio or a, uh, an installation environment. It's frame accurate, absolutely perfectly synced. It means you can do very creative displays in ultra high resolution by creating a canvas that is actually driven by multiple machines. One of the new additions in version two of the Avery software is the addition of Video Mapper. A Video Mapper is very well known within all our other products and it's a very sophisticated but very creative tool where you can mix screens of different resolutions, do very creative displays, especially when you've got multiple devices, multiple displays, say for example uh, microtiles or some small device where you might be working with many, many of these uh, tiles. You can actually, within the software, uh, configure multiple screens uh, very, very simply, very easily. Now, it's not simple to do that on a touch screen of this size. So what we use is we use a piece of software called BirdKeeper. BirdKeeper allows us to access any of the other devices that are on the network. And when we go in, we can control every parameter on there and we can use Video Mapper in a much more creative way with fine tuning, very accurate pixel movements with a keyboard, with a mouse, when the, uh, the touch screen is a little less convenient. One of the products we're very excited about here at ProLight and Sound in Germany is the Bluebird. This is a new pr product and a new addition to the Avery Video Tools range. In essence, you get exactly the same functionality as you saw earlier in the Parakeet product and also in the uh, HD version, which is the Toucan. Bluebird will play back up to 4K. The key difference with this product is that it doesn't have the touch panel and the transport controls. This reduces the cost and makes it a very, very valuable installation tool. Very often now, because of the restrictions in the amount of uh, distance that you can run 4K signals, you end up positioning servers behind sets, in uh, back rooms very close to displays because you just can't do long cable runs. This is a very, very useful product for that because you can control it with all the same functionality using our BirdKeeper software. It plays up to 4K, it supports all the, all the different aspect ratios, it will drive multiple screens and be able to support splitters just like with all our other products, but it becomes a, a very powerful tool for the installation market. One of the key things that we're introducing here at ProLight and Sound is our new licensing options. Whereas previously you would buy a system and it would run it outright for, uh, for the duration of its life, what you can now do is you can buy it with a one year license that allows you to then renew the license in subsequent years at a very affordable price, allowing you to spread the cost across the project. So if you need to put it into a project, into your rental inventory, into an installation and you need to generate revenue, you can spread the cost and actually put it across the years as you get your return.